In the building industry, products such as bricks, concrete and plaster can contain either cement or lime. The acidity and the alkalinity of these ingredients usually evaporate as they're exposed to oxygen over a period of 28 days when they usually will stabilise. We need to make sure that the surface before we paint is at a normal level where the acidity and the alkalinity have stabilised and we can check that with limpus paper. Limpus papers or pH papers come in a package containing a quantity of strips. We use one strip for each test that we conduct. Each strip when applied to the surface and wet with water will change colours and indicate an acidic or alkaline reading. If both acid and alkaline levels are even, a neutral reading will appear. A neutral reading is perfect to begin painting the surface. This is basically how you do the test. So I'll just take one little strip. And I'm going to apply it to the concrete surface in this situation. And then I apply a little bit of distilled water. And I leave it there for about, about 30 seconds. So now after 30 seconds has passed, I then take the package and compare it to the strip. And as you can see, the colour matches probably between 7 and 8, probably closer to 7, which is a neutral reading, meaning that it is neither acidic or alkaline. There could be a, a number of reasons why masonry surfaces need to be tested. It could be that the surfaces haven't adequately dried within the 28 days that we allow and the acidity and the alkalinity levels haven't stabilised. Or it could be that the builder has put in the windows and the doors and the plaster hasn't had the opportunity to dry adequately. Or it could be that a pipe has broken and moisture is coming through the wall. Whatever the reason is, we've got to make sure before we start painting that the surfaces we're painting are not acidic or have high levels of alkaline.